It's purely what can I do to, to help this next generation. We have autism. When I started uh, grounding people 20 some years ago, autism was like one in 5,000. Then it went to one in 500. Now it's down to one in 50 in just 20 years. So I keep asking people, when are, when are, when are, when is everybody going to do something? They said, there's no insurance codes. <laughs> what can we do for an autistic child? There's no money in it. Nobody's going to address it. And yet here's families being destroyed. Mom's going to jail, husband's leaving. All the issues that go with autism. I mean, it's absolutely criminal. And it's an autoimmune disease. It's an mm -hmm. inflammation related health disorder. So what's causing it? What's happening to these children? When and how? It's not for me to determine, but something needs I, to be done. Something needs to be done. Fibromyalgia, you mentioned Lyme disease. These are also yes. things that are being diagnosed at much, much higher rates because there is a higher yes. incidence in the population, yet there isn't a lot of effort or energy going into figuring out why. Yeah. I've worked a lot with the Lyme's girls. And uh, Alex Meyer, I don't know if you've ever heard Alex. Uh, she was head of one of the uh, Lyme's blogs. Uh, <clears throat> Spiro Chicks, I think was the name of it. And uh, yeah, I worked with, them, with her for several years. And it's a process, you know, it's poor circulation. Mm -hmm. uh, the blood, when you get grounded, then it normalizes the blood viscosity. It goes and gets in and, 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 and you kind of have, um, uh, when you first get grounded and have limes, you have to go slow because the um, the spirochetes will die off, will be too massive, and then they'll feel like they have the flu. But that's the first thing that happens when you get grounded. Is then you have to just slowly and continually ground, keep your body, keep your blood normal, so the immune system and the inflammation low, so your immune system can clean this up. Can do its work. I do a lot of work in the detox space with my patients, and we talk about circulation so much because that's the pathway that toxins that are, you know, if they're stored in fat cells or in the brain or in the bones or wherever they yes. are, they're going to have to go through circulation in order to be eliminated. Yeah. And right. this idea yeah. of grounding and, and getting that flow more, um, just more efficient makes yes. so much that's, sense that's all it is i mean animals in the wild don't have cardiovascular issues they don't have inflammation related health disorders they don't have access to oreos either but <laughs> that's true but i've learned one thing over the years and all my years is i spent a lot of time traveling around the world i can take you to countries where they don't eat anything except fish they've never eaten a piece of fruit in their life i can take you to other places all they, they've never eaten a piece of meat in their lives you know, some of your other cultures and in the equatorial regions. But some people's diets are so poor, but yet they have health. They have healthy immune system. The immune system will get you through anything. It will take whatever food you give it and convert it to whatever you need in many cases. Your gut bacteria is most important um, because it makes your vitamin Bs and or produces these things. But there's so much more to the story. Going to the grocery store and eating at Whole Foods alone is not going to solve the problem. But it's certainly going to help if you eat. The closer you can eat, eat raw food. And juicing? Are you a fan of juicing? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Especially celery and cucumber and various things like that and make my own little concoctions. Right, because yeah. they have a lot of electrical charge with all of those that's, minerals. That's, that's minerals and the, all the enzymes are and electrical. And the enzymes. So no, it's all electrical. I mean, you're adding. I mean, your your color comes right up as soon as you drink some uh, some good juice. Mm -hmm. But you're drinking electrons, just like the electrons we're grounding you with. The grounding electrons are produced more to produce for prevention and protection against oxidative stress, maintaining the immune system electrically stable. Nutritious electrons, they go into the body and the, and they you know. Uh, the electrons and the protons are separated and go down the ion channels and you create energy by putting them back together in one form or another. I use different terms, but it's, um, it's, it's just you have to have food, you have to all, all these things, but but it's like the well-balanced diet is not alone the answer, so I, I don't, I, I'm never going to say anything other than eat the best food you possibly can. And if you can't eat, eat things that are closest to 